the whole time I was lucid dreaming. Mm -hmm. See so. <laughs> It's the morning of day 3 after surgery and a bit will be going to JW clinic to get my post-operative care treatment which is a lead dispelling treatment as well as hair shampoo Let's do my medication together First bottle which is hydrogen peroxide This is going to help clean off the scabs and blood crusts on the nose Takes up a lot of cotton buds so I will just do this to help save time Close up of Dr. Saul's work. We will get to see Dr. Kang's in a bit because everything is performed in the eye. The sewing is so intricate. So I hope that when the stitches are removed, I can have like a quick wound recovery. I was telling you guys last night you need to buy a cotton swab with a larger head. So it makes this cleaning situation a lot faster. The saline solution is to clean off any remaining blood and also discharge. You're supposed to turn your cotton swab gently in a circle around your nostrils. I'm gonna get the sides here also. This looks like nose hair but grown on the outside of the nose. Effects in ointment. I need to apply this around the stitches. We are all about efficiency in this era. It doesn't matter which comes first, but they both have to be applied 5 minutes apart from one another. Right now I can taste like... A hint of carrot? I know it tastes sweet, but I cannot tell what's the actual taste. We are planning to go to Myeongdong today and hopefully get more touristy things checked off the list. Maybe eat that Myono barbecue that I keep smelling in my surgery. I never know that human fat when it's burnt smells so good. It smells so similar to pork. Or maybe I'm just a pig. I think I'm just a pig too. Time for the second eye drop. I couldn't really sleep well last night so I kept breathing really hard through my mouth. This morning my throat was so dry. I can't wait to take off the packing of my nose. I just breathe like a normal person again. In 5 days time, I will get to have my cast and stitches removed. Very excited. But I know it's not the final outcome obviously because it's still going to be swollen. I will attempt to use my favorite dry shampoo to help decrease my hair. I don't even know if it works at this point. Look at how oily this is. Thankfully, it is really cold outside during this period. That's why it's a really good time to get a surgery done in April and May. Can you imagine if I came during the summertime? Yeah, I become a rose pock. Okay, see you guys when we reach the clinic. Ouch. Oh! <laughs> no! I'm not a... I'm crying. <laughs> Wow, so painful. Oh my god, I can breathe through my nose. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Why are you so painful just I now? Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. How are you doing? Great. Great. Oh my yes. god, when you took off the nose packing, it was so painful. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, they're quite uncomfortable. Mm. Oh, so, so painful. So uh, along with the ear, you also applied the ointment uh, inside the nose and you can be generous with it. The same ointment? Yes. Okay. Just only on the stitches? Yes. Okay. So now I'm getting the LVD dissolving treatment. Actually, I didn't know that I'll be removing my nose packing today. It wasn't really pain pain, but it was very, very uncomfortable. But you know what? I would gladly do it all over again if it means that I can breathe through my nose. I'm done with the LED design treatment when I get my hair washed. I'm smelling it a little bit. Mm. Oh my god, I can smell a shampoo! <laughs> oh my god, I can smell a shampoo! Sounds like cherries and more cherries. More cherries. <laughs> I have human hair again. Oh, thanks to the clinic and baby for drawing my hair. Walking down the lonesome track, 
eyes fixed on the night. Stars whisper secrets about the moon. She hides her light. Old Joe's shack stands empty now. The whiskey's turned to air. No more tunes from his battered past. Just the hum of dreamers' despair. She left a letter for him. Smudged by the rain, said she's chasing shadows, seeking solace from her pain. In the valley of forgotten dreams, where the river runs so wild, where the river runs so wild, she hopes to find her lost soul. It's been five days since the surgery. Just want to show you a little quick update. This is the <laughs> the tape situation on my face right now. My nose is healing well. It's just that I haven't washed my skin for five days it's just like cleaning with my cellar water then toner i can't wait to wash my face man it's like the tape is not taping anymore in fact it's turning transparent because it's soaked with five days worth of oil same for this over here and no matter how clean my hair is at the start of the day at the end of the day it's it's just soaked with oil i also just finished cleaning everything with the hydrogen peroxide and saline solution so as the day goes by your nose may be congested due to the mucus that will come out throughout the day and so my nose will be a little bit stuffy after the end of the day just now when i was cleaning my nose i dug a little bit too hard and there was bleeding Oh, please be careful when you're cleaning your nostrils. In two days time, I'll be going back to the clinic to get all everything removed, the stitches, the managers, and I get to see my new nose for the first time. I'm already liking this nostril situation here because I used to be able to fit like my whole thumb in. Now I can just barely fit my little pinky. And it's been really difficult not laughing for like the past five days. The most I can do is like hold my nose so that I can remind myself not to um, blow my nose apart. Here's my quick update for 50. I will be checking in again tomorrow. Hey guys, today is 15th of May. It's currently 8 degrees outside. It's been 6 days since my surgery and I'm freaking oily. Tomorrow is also the grand review. I'm going back to JW Clinic to get my cast and also my stitches removed. I'm also going to have one last final checkup with Dr. So and Dr. Kang to make sure I'm in good condition to go home back to Singapore. So let me just update you guys on the healing situation for both my lower blepharoplasty and rhinoplasty. The last time I was at JW Clinic, they removed my nose packing. That was three days after the surgery and... I slept like a baby. The most uncomfortable period was also on the second and third day post-surgery. It was mainly being drowsy from the painkillers, super dry throat. I was literally going insane trying to breathe through my mouth while sleeping. And I couldn't look downwards at all because the pressure would start building in the middle of the face. Smelling was also kind of weird. I couldn't move my upper lip so I was like... Was it painful? Was it uncomfortable? I would say the maximum pain was 3 out of 10. It was just a little bit uncomfortable, nothing too unbearable and I'm usually very sensitive towards pain. Most of the times the pain comes from cleaning the stitches but other than that, the sting sensation will happen for just 3 seconds and I'll be like, ah, and then it goes away after a while. As for the year, I still haven't felt any actual pain. It's just a little bit tender when I clean it with a Q-tip. Do you guys remember how I have to put like a gauze over here to prevent all the nose leaking situation from leaking downwards? So that stopped after the fourth day and the mucus situation only happens every time I eat something spicy and I cannot live without my spices. So it was a sacrifice I was willing to make. But that also means that the mucus will start hardening inside when I'm out and therefore my nose breathing actually reduced to 20% left. And once again that day we are just back to mouth breathing again. But it's okay, for spicy food it was just a little inconvenience. It's also damn tempting to kind of like want to blow your nose or dig your nose when that happens but no, don't do that. And honestly I think this is one of the best thing I've done for myself in 2024. Makeup is going to be so much easier and so much more fun when you don't have to fret about how you're going to cover your under eye circles, how you're going to cover your imperfections or whether your under eye concealer is going to kick from all the layers that you're piling on. And 
And even as a makeup artist, I'm very careful with the way I layer my makeup. It just doesn't look good with Singapore's humidity, you know. For the nose, I'm already loving it so much. At least from what I can see here, the ALA base has been reduced tremendously. Can you imagine that I used to be able to fit my thumb inside all the way? But now I can barely put in my pinky. What the hell? This is a miracle. Quick reminder to myself and you guys, the result of the nose tomorrow is not final. It will take three to four more months to develop and then afterwards once the swelling has gone the tip has drooped a little bit we're going to see the final outcome which i'll be posting in part two of my surgery vlog and that's all for day six review i shall see you guys tomorrow when i'm at jw clinic for the crank review going to the clinic right now to remove all of this hi uh, hello, hello Is everything okay? Hmm, okay. I, I'm checking the location of the implant. Okay, uh, nasal, okay. Mm -hmm. nasal bridge uh, became taller mm -hmm. and the, your upturned nasal tip uh, now is, uh, looks longer mm -hmm. and the uh, base became slimmer. Oh my and, god, it looks so different. <laughs> yeah, it is swollen, oh. so it's not the final result. Yes. So, uh, the side wall of the nasal bridge will be narrower and it will be slimmer uh -huh. and all base will be a little narrower oh my as the swelling has gone uh -huh. and it will take at least three months three months for the first one week from today uh, you should sleep on your back don't sleep on your left side or right side until next thursday sleep on your back okay and avoid the big smiling for three months because if you smile big then mm -hmm. alabase mm -hmm. will be wider and tip can be droopy so this is a very important uh, big smiling is <laughs> okay. not good and do not press or twist to your nasal tip for three months uh, and sleep on your back for one more week on my back yeah. for one more week yeah. So okay. dangerous to hang out with my friends. We're going to take a video together. Do you have anything you want to say? The surgery was very successful, so mm -hmm. I'm very happy with the result. And so the swelling is very minimal, mm -hmm. uh, even so she has some bruise, but mm -hmm. it will be gone around one week. Bye-bye and have a nice trip back home. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So your under eye um, like bags weren't that much of an issue. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Under eye bags weren't that much of an issue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 난 심한 편 아니다. 저. That's not a serious uh, bruising mm. or swelling. So. 음. 앞으로 한달 정도 지나야지 좀 붓기가 다 가라앉아 가지고 mm. final result 나올 것 같다. Mm. So <웃음> you heard that your final result is about in a month's time. 아, 맞지. 주의할 점은 러빙 하면 안 된다. Mm. 그 정도. 네. Mm. Um, so avoid rubbing your eyes. Mm. Uh, all night long. 음, 한달 동안. 한달 동안. 음, 음. For about a month. Okay. 음, 화장이랑 세안은 mm. 하셔도 되는데 mm. 눈 주위 이렇게 러빙만 하지 마시라고. So you can wash your face, you can mm -hmm. do makeup, but just don't do any makeup that requires you to rub your eyes either. So like any yeah rubbing movements avoid. Petting is okay. 아 그건 괜찮아. 그건 괜찮은데. 괜찮아? 어, 이, 이런 이런 건 프레스 프레스는 괜찮은데 네. 이런 것도 괜찮은데 이건 안 돼. 안 돼. 어. 안 돼. 어. 어. 오케이. 알았어. 사실 너무 음. 수술이 잘 됐고요. 너무 음. 예뻐져서. 음. 어, 가니까 보시고 저희 병원 음. 많이 찾아주세요. <웃음> he said that you, you, you came out very nice uh -huh. and that he hopes that many patients come. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 네. It was really quite an experience. Yeah. Burn human meat smells really good. Huh? Yeah. Do you know I could smell how my eyes were like? Uh. And then like. We went to eat pork barbecue the last time I was yeah. here and it smelled exactly the same. Also, it smells like barbecue. Yeah. You just so don't have the seasoning with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute that they put it on my forehead.
Oh, shit, it's not done yet. Oh my god! The past one week, the most pain I had was during cleaning, and that was only a 3 out of 10, but today it's, it's 7. Dun 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 dun. These are all the stitches and stuff that was from my nose. Is this is this here? And you have it in like opposite direction, like across. And then for the first month, you wear it twenty four seven. You can take it off if you shower, mm -hmm. and then put it right back on. And then the second month, you wear it only at night. Who is she? Oh my God! Look at that. Goodbye. Goodbye, JW Clinic. Checking in on day 7, so it's been 7 days since I had my surgery. I freaking love it. Dr. Kang's masterpiece and Dr. Saw's masterpiece. I never imagined that there would ever be a day that I would really get these surgeries done once and for all. These are not the final results, definitely, and you still take like three to six months to develop, especially for my nose. I'm still drinking pumpkin juice diligently in hopes that I'll get the swelling to go down faster. So in this update, I'm just going to talk about how I feel overall. It's a very surreal feeling to know that something you have always thought about for so many years have finally come to fruition. Here's my side profile. My front profile from the left. Right now, the under eye area doesn't look like much because it's still puffy and still swollen. But I can tell you guys that the shadows that's always formed by harsh lights coming from above, it's gone. Right now, for eye area, it takes about probably a month to see the final result and for rhinoplasty it will take about between three to six months the first time i looked at myself in the mirror at the clinic i was like what i just thought it looked very comical because it's so solid i look like avatar it's a roller coaster ride of emotions of sorts to recap on the nose that i requested for i asked for a higher nose bridge to reduce the size of my ala as well as to have a curved nose bridge i don't want it straight because it looks very manly. I can tell you guys with great confidence that I am freaking satisfied. I've already solved my main problem by 50% which is my nostrils are not as visible as they used to be. 7 out of 10 pain for stitches removal and only maximum 3 out of 10 pain during the one week of recovery. I want to talk a little bit more about how the recovery process was like for lower blepharoplasty. I didn't have much inconveniences or discomfort with my under eye. First to third day of my lower blepharoplasty recovery. It's pretty uncomfortable to look upwards this way. I had to tilt my head around if I wanted to look elsewhere because there would be a little bit of discomfort from the internal stitching as well as the bandages under the eye kind of covered my vision a little bit so it got a little bit hard to see. This is an example of how my vision was like when I had the bandages. But from the fourth day onwards, I didn't have much of that sensation anymore except that my eyes were still a little bit dry every now and then. Dr. Kang also did mention that fillers will be recommended in the future to kind of like smooth out this tear trial line over here. And the weirdest sensation was touching my nose. So the silicone begins from roughly around here and it ends somewhere over here. It's so weird. And of course this entire area here is still very sensitive. I have to be extra extra careful when putting on skincare or washing my face. Every time I put on skincare I have a tendency to be a, a little bit rough and so now I need to pay extra attention to the way I do my skincare or wash my face. I have to be 10 times more gentle than I usually am. Now that the stitches are gone I still have to make sure I apply this on my wounds to make sure they don't get infected. Trying to get all that dead skin, blackheads, all that gunk off my face as much as possible. I'm going to use this new cotton pads that I got from Olive Young as a mask to kind of like save my face. It's a huge tub of toner pads. Who doesn't like Pro Max size toner pads, right? And I see that this is getting really popular in Korea right now. So me and Rina got a pack each to try. I know you're supposed to split into half, but I'm just going to use like two for each side. Put it on like a mask. 
the 19th, which is two to three days from now, I will need to wear that ear mold that they made specifically to fit on the area that they got the ear cartilage from just to support that site because now there is something missing over there so for wound ointment two to three times a day i think honestly the wound on the nose is healing really well it's so much easier to put on this wound ointment without all the stitches in the way here's a close of my ear you can't really see any wounds anymore so it's healing really well Finishing off with this moisturizer from Baldemar is called the Sika Bio Cream. I saw people saying on Reddit that this is really good for wound healing. It also become my daily moisturizer because my skin was really dry from taking Accutane. Technically, I can already apply makeup and I really wanted to because we're going to Ixon Dong tomorrow for cafe hopping. But Dr. Kang specifically said not to rub the under eye area. And then I was like, how am I going to remove my makeup if I can't rub my under eye? So I decided not to apply makeup just in case I screw something up. I'm not gonna be doing any filming tomorrow. I just want to enjoy our last day here in Korea. So I'll update you guys again when I am back home. Back in Singapore, going home right now, it's currently almost 5am and I've safeguarded my nose and my new eyeballs. Hey guys, today is 21st June. It's been 1.5 months since my surgery and most of the swelling has gone down. I'm going to show you guys how it looks like right now. And here's my pre-surgery phase for comparison. Are y'all ready? One, two, three! Are y'all seeing this? The difference is crazy yet so natural at the same time. I have absolutely zero makeup on my face right now. Let's compare Dr. Kang's lower blepharoplasty first. It's almost fully healed. I still feel a little swell over here but that's about it. The under eye area is no longer as sunken and my dark eye circles are greatly reduced because the fats are repositioned. My tear trough is slightly smoothed out and my ego cell kind of looks a little bit fuller. Y'all know what this means? I can actually skip concealer and people won't question my sleep schedule and my under eyes no longer look horrible under harsh lighting. That is a major win. The craziest glow up is my nose. And just to remind y'all, this is not the final result yet. It's still healing and you'll take 3 to 6 months and up to a year for it to settle down. Let's do a side by side comparison. My side profile looks damn good. My short upturned nose has been corrected and my ELA base is so much smaller. For visual reference, I used to be able to put my entire thumb in and now I can barely fit my pinky. To recap, it was an open rhinoplasty procedure, so Dr. Saw used an eye-shaped silicone implant for my nose bridge. Ear and septum cartilage to make the nose longer and cut out little wedges at the side of my nose for ELA reduction. I also requested for him to correct my slightly deviated septum which was leaning towards the left and it's caused me so much breathing issues since I was young. Y'all, I can breathe in 4K right now. Apart from looking great, he has fixed my functionality and now I can actually breathe with two nostrils. As for the nose recovery progress, there's a little bit of asymmetrical swelling going on. It's swelling a little bit more on my left side and my left nostril is bigger than my right. This is apparently a very common post-op symptom as the nasal tissues are still healing. In the first month, the nerves in my nose tip here was completely numb and it only started regaining its sense of touch in the past week. Freaky, feels like you're touching somebody else's nose. Here's a close-up of the wounds from the nose stitching. The left ala is healing quite well. The healing is a little bit slow on the right side so I'm still using the ointment from the clinic to speed up the recovery. And the columella is healing the best so far. And you'll take a few more months for them to fully heal. The ear cartilage wound is almost completely healed. And Dr. Saw hid it so well that nobody could tell unless I flip it out like that. There was no visible wound on my under eyes as all the stitching was done through the conjunctiva with a dissolvable thread. In the second to fourth week after coming home, I have a little bit of pressure on my nose bridge and under my eyes when I lift my heavy makeup luggage at work. And my nose was swelling quite a bit in the second week where work was getting very intense and I didn't have enough sleep. I was really worried but luckily I could still text Emily over WhatsApp for all post-op related questions. She was really nice and patient and she gave advices very quickly when I was freaking out over my wounds and my swelling. 
For post-up care, these are the things that JW Clinic told me to do after cast removal. I have to wear this earpiece 24-7 every day for a month and at night for a second month onwards. It was molded from my ear pre-surgery and it does the job of maintaining the ear shape where they took the cartilage from. I had to continue to sleep elevated on my back for one more week, no smiling or laughing widely for the next two months, and no twisting of the nose tip for three months. Everyone has been asking me on TikTok, how do you dig your nose? And the answer is, I am not allowed to because it might damage the nose from inside. I've heard of other people using nasal spray to lubricate the nose after surgery but I didn't get it myself. Instead, I bought some sinus rinse and I was allowed to use it very very carefully from the third week onwards. The nose cleaning lifestyle is very different after surgery so I'm allowed to blow my nose very gently from the first month onwards. And that's how I clear my nose now. My skin was also really clogged from all the oils marinating under the bandages and I've never seen so much blackheads on my nose before. So for skincare, I used a oil-based cleanser and products containing AHA and BHA to gently exfoliate and melt away the clogged sebum. I need to show you this acid peel that I got from CauseRx recently. This product is the reason why I have no brackets right now. Y'all need to try it out. And that's all for my post of one month update. I really want to thank JW Clinic for taking such good care of me. I'm really satisfied with the results and everyone who had seen me in real life, they were like, Oh my god, you look so good. I was like, yeah, I know, right? It's JW Clinic. Their services are really efficient and everyone, including the staff, the doctors and the nurses are also friendly. If you guys are interested in getting any procedures done by JW Clinic or you would like to inquire about the price, they can be contacted via email, WhatsApp or WeChat and I'll link everything in the description box below. Stay tuned for part 3, it will be released in November this year and I will be doing a 6 months update as well as a Q&A to answer your questions. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching till the end, remember to like, subscribe and share this video and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more updates. See you guys real soon, bye!